Well, hello again. Uh, here we are with another yes or no question. This one is a pretty fundamental one. It's should we have children? I uh, can't imagine any more far-reaching decision than that made by most people in this life. Uh, and uh, it's one on which there are very different views and many reasons accompanying each. So let's get right into them. First of all, let's talk about the people who say, uh, yes, yes, we should have children. Well, uh, of course, uh, a, a premier reason for having children is to carry on the family name, to achieve uh, at the same time, perhaps some level of immortality through passing on your, your DNA. I guess I discussed this briefly when I talked about uh, whether there's an afterlife or not. Uh, the uh, notion that perhaps in a related matter there will be uh, children to carry on the family business. Uh, so there's a whole set of decisions around kind of continuing the, uh, the life that we have now. In a related matter, it's a way for some people to uh, as, it were, as it were, live out their, their fantasies, perhaps do the things that they didn't get around to doing, or, that, or perhaps they even did wrong, so that by virtue of uh, learning from those mistakes, the, uh, the progeny can, can do it right and, and advance further and be more successful and, and more happy. Uh, those with a philosophical bent would say that uh, there is uh, a notion here of giving meaning to life. Uh, without children, what, what is your goal in life? Why, why are you there? Uh, is it simply to entertain yourself or are you doing something for someone else? Uh, that someone else in this case uh, uh, being children. Another one is that they're a major source of friendships. Uh, you tend to get to know your kids' parents and often in a a community where you do the school run, uh, those people uh, become one of your circles of friends. And so what's not to like about that? Uh, what a wonderful uh, benefit to gain more friends. Another one is uh, they're cute, at least, <laughs> at least most of them are. And uh, similarly, having kids around keeps you young. You're, you're less inclined to kind of stultify in the middle and old age when you have kids around. You have to think a little bit like them. You have to be uh, au fait with their fads and their desires and so forth. And that in itself is youthful. Uh, some would say that the priest has made it very clear to me that I'm to have a lot of children and, and that I have a, a uh, moral obligation to do so, to populate the earth with uh, little Catholics, perhaps. Um, and then finally, I think for a lot of people, there is pressure from their circle of friends, even from their grandparents, to have children. We expect you to have children. Where are the grandchildren? Uh, when are you going to start a family? And all that sort of thing. So people do uh, feel that pressure, whether they succumb to it or not, of course, is a, is a personal matter. But all of these uh, factors are at work. A lot of them are pressures. There are incentives. So a lot of reasons around for people to say that they have decided to have children and, and for, them to, for them to act on it. Well, what about uh, those who say, no, I'm not going to bother. Uh, it's not really necessary to have children. Uh, well, first of all, it is, as we all know, quite expensive. Uh, of course, there is the question of uh, not only the expenses of uh, feeding and clothing children, but if you're in a particular uh, social category, you may want to send them to fee-paying schools. and that. Uh, by one calculation, doubles the total cost of, of keeping a child until uh, age 21, let's say. It's, it's a lot of money, and, and to have several, uh, you have to multiply that, that number by that amount. Uh, my wife has always commented on how uh, gay men and single people uh, seem to always have more money than we do, principally because they haven't had to spend it on their children. Well. Uh, 
that's certainly, uh, uh, I, I think, a consideration for a lot of people, particularly if they feel pressed, if they're uh, under any kind of, uh, or expect to be under any kind of financial pressure given the outlook for the economy, for their jobs, for their profession, and so forth. Um, then there's a, a couple more that, that uh, uh, revolve around personal characteristics. Uh, one of them is the notion that I don't think I could find a mate who would want children. Uh, that might uh, apply particularly to so-called incels, the in involuntarily celibate. People who have a, a hard time just finding a, a matchup that, that makes sense for them and, and uh, therefore the fear that the other person will either be uh, uninterested or even opposed to, to having children. Another one is, uh, I don't think I'd make a good parent. I don't think I've got the right sort of uh, mindset to be patient with children, perhaps to put up with their awkward teenage years. Uh, it, it just isn't my uh, view of the world that I want to have to be inconvenienced that much. Another major one, of course, is uh, that, particularly in the case of women, that it would inhibit my career. Uh, a, a lot of women are uh, capable in their jobs, have very bright, bright prospects in a career, and uh, they simply don't want to uh, diminish their chances of succeeding and getting ahead. And it may be that, that in the particular line of work that they're in, that that indeed would be the case, that to be, have to take time off to have a baby and to get it going in, in life, uh, never mind looking after subsequent children, uh, would greatly uh, reduce the uh, chance of professional success. So I can see how that would be a, a very, a very major consideration. Next, for a lot of people, the possibility that, that could, something could go wrong, uh, uh, and this may particularly apply to people who have experienced it with siblings or in their lives, the notion of having a child with, with uh, with handicaps, with learning disabilities, even uh, with psychopathy, uh, it would be a real fear and, and something that would, uh, uh, I'm sure, uh, put people off. Uh, next, uh, my relationship with my partner is the most important thing to me in the world, and I could easily imagine how um, having a child uh, might interfere with that, uh, in some cases uh, drive the partner away, uh, cause a rift between us, uh, and uh, I'll do anything to prevent that from happening. The, my partner is so important that uh, that man or woman is more important to me than, than any children would be. And then finally, there's the notion that there are just too many people in the world. Um, the uh, effective population on the on the on the planet uh, what it's done uh, for every aspect of the ecology the economy the, uh, the plastics in the ocean the global warming uh, traffic congestion bad air all the rest of it comes down to too many people so why should I add just one more person or two or three more people uh, to that problem. I, I choose not to do it. Well, those are some pretty powerful arguments as well. I've seen them, I've seen pretty good ones on both sides, actually. Well, what's my take on this? Uh, well, my take is that I, I don't have a take. I don't certainly don't have an opinion about uh, which of the two is right. It's not only is it's an entirely personal decision for any individual or any couple, whether to have children or not, but it very much reflects their psychology, their worldview, their value system, what they think is important, what they want out of life, and and uh, if one constructs a very elaborate profile of uh, of that, it would probably lead you to one answer or or another. All I can say is, good luck to both. You can be happy either way. Okay, well, you probably won't object to that one too much, but in any case, I hope you liked it. Uh, if so, uh, give me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.